Do you want to get a hey. <laughs> there's a literal storm brewing outside and there's a figurative one. Great developments happening right now as we speak. Oh my god. I don't want to be that guy to try to pass it off as a prophet, but I have tapped into some very informative people. And by now, maybe it won't be that hard for you to believe, but this is going to be the most bizarre year of your fucking life. Make no mistake about it, man. It's going to be a great awakening because it's going to be a complete plot twist. Nothing shakes up your paradigm like a plot twist. It's what we love about movies and novels. The unexpected. Oh my god. (laughs) Fuck Hollywood. Even though Hollywood's going down. This is going to be a bestseller. Maybe they make a movie about it down there in Atlanta. With Tyler Perry. Who capitalized on the fact that. Hollywood is going down buddy. The writing has been on the walls. It's, It's finally happening. And I'm proud to say that I was affiliated with some of these guys who helped make it happen. And, um, you know, I separated myself from them just because I had lost I I won't say I lost faith, but I feel like I really couldn't add to it. Like, I thought that this was going to be something that was going to take. I would, wouldn't be alive to see it. And um, that's on, on me. It's a great lesson to for me. To realize that, you know, uh, wait out the storm as it's as it's uh, in the midst of a storm right now. In many ways, so wait out the storm and trust your instincts, man. Um, very, very, uh, very glad to see this pay out. Very glad to see that a, a lot of people who were considered to be nuts, uh, nutcases, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't call them retarded or crazy or tripping, whatever it is. It's nice to see them finally get a win, man, because uh, what's about to happen, like, it's... I can't believe that I'm alive to see it, to be honest with you, man. And I hate, you know, I really hate speaking kind of in code, being cryptic or whatever. Because I just don't want to be that guy to say a bunch of things and it doesn't happen. But you'll be able to connect the dots once it does happen. I've put it out there um, subtly. I'm in a group that talks about it. and That's where my focus is. But <laughs> I don't. Guys, let me just say, if you're watching this right now, the things that you are going to witness this year, aside from what you've already seen, I don't care how, I don't care what you've seen so far, I don't care how that's affected you. What you're about to see over the course of this next year alone is going to fuck your head up, your paradigm there's going to be a lot of opportunity, a lot of heartbreak. There will be a lot of tears shed. There will be a lot of redemption. There are some people who chose the path of evil, got blitzed, turned to the other side, who, you know, in, in some way will die a hero because of what they uh, became a part of in an to try to change the narrative. To try to change the norm. Um, so it's. They get a bittersweet outcome. But the people left behind benefits. Hold on. The people who are left behind get the benefit. The meek shall inherit the earth type shit. Um, that's, that, that's how I'm reading it, man. So I'm saying a lot of something. 
I'm saying a lot of nothing, really. Because, you know, I don't want to start, like I said, I don't want to start throwing names out there and it doesn't happen right away, but I just want you, I just want you to think about a couple things, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a guy who's big on politics or anything like that, and not big, you know, so let, let me just say, because, um, let me just speak facts, okay, don't, leave me the fuck alone, I don't want to, you know, don't attack me, but. Ever since this this orange guy Donald Trump became president, a lot of power, a lot of powerful people went down. A lot of powerful people went down, and it has stirred up a lot of conversation. I was very slow to the party. I hated to see a MAGA hat and shit like that. But what the story that is starting to brew is that Donald Trump is the master chess player. The master chess player. Meaning. He convinced. A lot of people that he was a complete idiot. While also. Com- while also convincing the other side. That he was for them. A genius move. Now. If you convince a group of people that you're an idiot. They disregard you. And. If you convince a group of people that you for them, they'll also disregard you. When I say disregard you, I mean you will disarm them. Okay, let, let me run that back. If a group of people, if you personally believe that I am an idiot, you will be disarmed because you would think that I am harmless. You would think that uh, I, I don't, I don't know shit. Yeah, I ain't listening to them. At the very least, you will probably tune out, which is very important here. You won't listen to a single thing that I say, which means that you probably won't pay attention to what I'm actually doing. In fact, you'll probably always pay attention more so to what I say than what I'm doing because words stick with you. You're not always around to see my actions. Okay. (laughs) But, um, and I kind of lost my train of thought, but with that being said, I'm going to leave this alone for now, and uh, we'll bring this back up. We'll dig this back up, and uh, let's see if I was right. Let's see if I'm a fucking idiot. Let's see if I'm a conspiracy nut, even though I feel like I retired from it. But at times like this, uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit going on, all right? And everybody has to admit it right now. It's the Great Awakening. Even my grandmama knows.